Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be listening to F the World, I'm going to say, by Brent Fayez. And I had a poll on my YouTube community tab to pick which Brent Fayez album I should finally listen to. And I understand this is not his first one, but this is the album that had the most votes. But not only that, um, once I was looking into the albums after realizing it had the most votes, if you've watched my other videos, you might be able to tell, like, I don't sound the same right now. I've been battling a cold for over a week and I can't seem to shake it. So uh, lucky for me, this album's actually really short. So in a way, it was kind of the perfect album for me to try and start filming again. I feel like my voice is going to give out if I talk too much. So all in all, thank you for picking this one because it makes the most sense for me and my current situation. So I have introduced myself to Brent Fayez over on my Patreon. I've listened to his top five most popular songs on Spotify. And I have also introduced myself to Saunderson over on Patreon. So I kind of have a, a sense of... Um, the music. It's definitely R&B and it lives within that genre. I'm going to be honest, I listened or introduced myself to Brent Fias so long ago that there is a high chance that I could be hearing one or two tracks possibly that I have heard before, but I might not realize I have heard before. As always, I'll be reading lyrics off of my phone while listening. And if you would like to see me Listen to this album for the very first time. Keep watching the video. Oh, yeah. Total key change. I love that. I love that we just completely pitched that beginning line. I can't help but feel like I don't give a fuck. I just take the shit and blow it up. It's no wonder I feel stuff, it'll change. Do you know what makes this world go round? I love this very, um, Kind of strip back opener. A very slow and uh, tender opener, lyrically, uh, definitely in a contemplative zone. This is the song I feel confident I have heard. It's so short. I gave it all for fantasy. Is anybody gonna remember me? If I go tonight, I doubt the world will change. I Ooh. just pray they don't forget my name. These are game rules I can't lose. Where the fuck are on the floor like I don't give a fuck about Still in the, like, the same zone as the first track. And, like, the level of extravagance in the production. That makes sense. I was fucking superstars when I was 19. Yeah, but they don't know if I'm demons. Yeah. I feel like dying every season. Mm. I've been swimming in I mean, this deep song, deep Clouded, it's a perfect I'm title for the lyrics. Going through the motions of life, but not I'm knowing what the reason for everything is. Man. Okay. We got a little bit more happening immediately. Just on the arrangement. Yeah, so it's got a little bit. We've increased the tempo slightly. Boom. Very cool. I like the overall vibe of this one. I love that line, how everything's done on that line. Okay, 
added some more ad libs in there. I love those wispy backing vocals. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. Summer in London. I spent a small fraction of my summer in London. It was lovely. Love that city. A teeny fraction. <laughs> okay, more uh, vocal pitch changes. Really, really relaxed. A mm. lot of relationship issues for Brent Fayez. We're doing more vocal effects on this track than the other ones so far. Oh. I feel like adding something more at this point in the song was perfect because it is so, so chilled out. I really do love the tone of Brent Fayez's voice. There's just something very pure about it. In that piano. Who can I love when they tell me I can't love myself? That was beautiful. Nice little surprise. This one so far just feels beautiful. Really pretty. And lyrically, I'm liking the message so far. It's definitely a song that has several lines that are meant to make you stop and think a moment. I really enjoy the piano, the arrangement, the vocal melody, lyrics. Mm. Lots of great things with the vocals. I like this one. Is this going to be all a cappella? Okay, no. But still, lots of layering with the vocals. 
and harmonizing. Like when it feels a little bit more like um, sporadic with the beats or the music choices, it gives a bit more of a like rawness feel to it as opposed to being as perfectly polished. string action in there okay we had summer in London and now winter in Paris oh boy this are immediately feels a bit deeper darker I don't want to say deeper they've all this just feels darker moodier that's what I should say these they be thinking you a lady but at home you my fucking if you ain't nasty, don't add me. I've been working all day. Oh, yeah. Definitely, like I said, overall mood is moodier. Blow your back out. I hope that's okay. I can't leave you alone. Lately, I've been thinking. Love that guitar right there. US real as they come. But you would rather be on them drugs. They have their issues, but he just can't stay away. This is definitely a nighttime jam. I love the guitars. I love the vocal variations. There's just such an ease to his vocal delivery, whether it's softer or more projection. I've really enjoyed the zone, the overall zone of the album. Like it's enjoyable to listen to. There's a little variety. It's still very easy listening. And I love the vocal melodies. happily in love at all on this album. Oh, load of a different delivery here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Overall cool vibe. Don't let want you take your away. I paid all my dues, plus I never 
I just want to vibe along to this one. That one just was a, like a true vibe. Okay, just a quick little outro. Oh. Really, I honestly really enjoyed that because uh, it was definitely an R&B album that gave me some different sort of feeling, I guess I would say. I mean, it's just kind of funny because pretty recently I listened to Usher's Confessions and, you know, you think of like early 2000s R&B, like I feel like that's a very good example of it uh, where I can feel so grand at times, which obviously I, I thoroughly enjoyed. But this is kind of like just showing a more subdued approach to R&B in the sense that the vocals are still there. Really love just the tone of Brent Faya's voice, honestly. Like I, it sounds almost innocent and pure. His lyrical contexts are not innocent and pure. I like the lyrics of this album. And I'm going to say that because they all felt very honest still. There were a lot of songs where he was being very honest about not being a faithful partner, having issues with different women he was with. But I feel like the song, I think it was called Let Me Know, also gave a very real look at how he actually really thinks. Like, and not saying that the songs were his issues with women, those were all very real topics too, but I feel like they're all equal parts of who Brent Fayez is. Like I'm going to say was since this was 2020, who he was in 2020 or 2019 or so. I really enjoyed that some of the lines are very memorable in these songs, like whether it's because they kind of made me chuckle or if it's just because like, like I said, and let me know a lot of those lines, they can stick with you and they're going to make a listener think a little bit like in their own lives how they feel about these questions he's posing. Uh, production wise, we had a couple songs with some shifts in them, but just overall really solid beats and melodies from these tracks. Loved the vocal melody. I mean, I feel like as a vocalist on an R&B album, I really am hoping for just really beautiful melodic uh, singing and ad libs. I love a lot of ad libs as well, even though it wasn't anything like belting so absurdly loud at your face. It still felt very powerful, even though it was definitely done in a more like relaxed feeling. There were maybe about two tracks where I felt like the pace got picked up a little bit. Those were just as great as the ones that took it a bit slower all throughout. And I definitely feel like it's like mood music in the sense that every track I could like immediately envision what sort of feeling or vibe I would be wanting to listen to that track. Me personally, I feel like that's exactly what I was kind of hoping for, like an album that would just really set a tone. And I like that there was the variation without going so extreme that you maybe like one track you feel like, okay, I'm in this zone. And then the next track, it shifts so dramatically that it completely breaks whatever zone you're in on the previous track. That doesn't happen with this album. It all definitely still felt cohesive. So please let me know your thoughts on this album in the comments below. And any other albums you would like for me to listen to, let me know that as well. And thank you so much for watching this video. And until my next video here, bye.